And away from Kaduna State now, President Muhammad Buhari has transmitted the 2022-2024 medium-term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper to the Senate for consideration. National Assembly correspondent Ignatius Nkwo reports that the legislators have confirmed five out of seven nominees as INEC commissioners. Yes. Plenary took off with President of the Senate, Ahmad Lawan, reading the 2022-2024 medium-term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper submitted by the executive. So the committee has uh, to work between today and tomorrow so that we're able to consider it on Thursday before we close for our annual recess. Immediately after that, consideration of the report of the Senate committee on the Independent National Electoral Commission on the screening of seven nominees as INEC commissioners followed. The committee recommended the confirmation of five nominees, Professor Muhammad Kala, Northwest, Professor Kule Ajayi, Southwest, Saidu Ahmad, Northwest, Dr. Baba Bila, Northeast, and Professor Abdullah Izuru, Northwest. It stepped down the confirmation of Professor Sani Adam for further investigation on the petition received against him, while that of Loretta Onochie was rejected. The Senate may wish to recall that in 2016, the H-Senate passed based on the recommendation of its INEC committee confirmed by Stami Obamuche Mbu from Delta State as a national commissioner in INEC of INEC who is still serving at present. Therefore, confirming the nomination of Mrs. Laureta Onochi from the same Delta State will be a violation of federal character principles. These nominees are not representing states. They are national commissioners representing geopolitical zones, that, even though it's not in the constitution, but they are picked from certain parts of the country. Consideration of reports continued with the passage of the National Emergency Medical Services Agency Establishment Bill, sponsored by Senator Ibrahim Olorebe, and the Electoral Offenses Commission Establishment Bill, sponsored by Senator Abubakar Kiari. When passed into law, it will reduce the number of deaths and casualties resulting from victims not receiving quick and quality response and care. Five bills passed first reading, including the Central Bank of Nigeria Act Amendment Bill, from the National Assembly, Ignatius Nkwo, NTN News.